Hello, my name is Helen Dakin and with this video I would like to show you how to embed any video that is video from YouTube or any other website, how to embed that video within your eLearn course. Your first task will be to find the video that you would like to embed in your course. So I'm going to pop over to YouTube right now and I found this uh, excellent video on how to use the calculator and I would like to use it for my stats course. So I'm going to scroll down to the information on sharing the video and with, with sharing we have several options and you can see that one of the options is to use a link. That is uh, probably a pretty easy method to use. You can always use links, but I prefer to embed videos in my courses. So I'm going to select the embed option. And now what we're going to do is right click and copy that embed code into your clipboard. So copy that embed code into your clipboard because you will need to paste that into the web page on Blackboard. So now that I've copied the embed code into my clipboard, I'm going to pop back to Blackboard and once I'm in Blackboard, I'm going to, I wish, I would like to embed the code in my module one lesson. So I'm going to edit this particular uh, module page within Blackboard. And you can see that once I've opened it up in Blackboard, there isn't much space to work with, but I would like to embed that video immediately underneath my title here. So assuming that this is the title. And in fact, what I can do is uh, I'd like to embed it right here. I'm going to throw in a little bit of extra space. And now I'm going to not paste it in this page here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the HTML code view. And this may seem rather ugly to you. And yes, it does look ugly. The bigger the page gets, the uglier the HTML code becomes. But all you need to do is locate where you want that embed code to be inserted. And you can see that you've got several blank lines right after that title. So I'm going to enter my embed code right here using control V to paste. So using control V to paste the embed code and no typing is required here. I'm going to select update. And now when I pop back to the uh, Blackboard editing page, what you'll see is um, the uh, frame within which the uh, embed code is contained. Now there is not much of a a view here so I'm going to size this up. Let me just move this over here a little bit. Slide this over so that you can see that we're going to size this up just a touch so that you can get a full page view. And um, you can't see the uh, embed code at all but what you will do is that once you've saved this um, page by using the submit key you will now be able to see the page as if it has the video embedded right in it and so now what we can do is immediately play it so that is how easy it is to uh, embed code into your videos. Now supposing you wanted to embed code from a different type of web page. Supposing you wanted to embed code from a page like Edu Creations, which is full of uh, very interesting math videos. In fact, what I would like to do is I'd like to show you how to embed code from several different types of web pages. So I'm going to edit this page right now and I'm going to insert the other um, embed code right after the YouTube embedding. And in fact, what I'd like to do is fill this up a little bit. So I will say, let's do some insertion here. And I'm going to insert some um, edge creations video here. And I will also insert some show me videos here and also insert some Vimeo. Again, the process is exactly the same for all different types, but at least what we've got now is some other information. Uh, let's just put in some headings here. So I'll make that heading one. 
Oh, that's not big enough. Let's try subheading 2. And we'll make this heading, heading 1 as well. That way you can see a little bit more of the HTML code. Uh, maybe I'll even change the color of this one so that you can see what HTML code looks like. Change the color to any color that I like. I like red. All right, so now let's move over to some EduCreations videos. Now I'm at the EduCreations website, and I actually have an account at EduCreations. EduCreations is a wonderful software app that is downloadable on your iPad. It is also a web-based uh, PC app as well, so you can uh, operate it from a desktop computer if you happen to have a touch-sensitive screen. I've created several videos here. I'm going to uh, build the embed code for this particular question. I like it because I called it good question, so it must be a good question. Um, and rather than playing this video, what I'm going to do is uh, over here to the right side, you can see that I have two options. I can either select the uh, web link to the document or I can embed it on the web. So I'm going to select embed code and you can see that I've got the option to copy and paste. So I'm going to right click and copy that embed code and now I'm going to move back to Blackboard. So again, you can use links but embed code is a lot neater. So now I'm going to, well, my insertion is right here, but I'm certainly not going to paste it in the uh, edit mode at, um, uh, on this page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the HTML code view. That's the only way that I can paste the embed code. And I have to find that spot where I'd like to paste it. So it's pretty easy to find because there it is right there. It's right after the... Um, uh, title where I had insert some edge creations video here. So I'm going to put it right after that title and uh, I'll use control V to paste that embed code and don't worry about the blank spacing. Um, it's, it'll get filled in when you uh, update. So I'm going to update now and you can see that my um, uh, embedded video is, is uh, inserted in the page. Of course I haven't saved this yet. That's one thing that most common mistake that I make is I forget to save stuff. So the way to save again is remember to hit the submit key. I'm in the full page view, so I'm going to exit the full screen. And remember that in order to save, you must click the submit button. So I've submitted it now. And now when I look at the page for my module one lessons, I not only have the YouTube video, but I also have an embedding of my good problem. So when I hit the play, uh, I actually have actually the embed problem. code. The uh, video is embedded. Of course, you must realize that both of these videos are accessible from EduCreations as and as uh, from YouTube as long as the EduCreations video is there, uh, or as long as the YouTube video is there. Once the owner of the YouTube video decides to remove the video, then it's gone. Your link is your embed code is useless. And uh, again, as uh, I may promise that I will leave this EduCreations video on the EduCreations site uh, as forever. However, if EduCreations goes out of business, then my video is gone. So there are pluses and minuses to embedding public uh, videos. Uh, certainly you have to think about that, the pros and cons. Another option, if you would like to have more permanent control of your uh, particular video or embed code, I would recommend that you store your videos on a cloud server such as OneDrive or such as Dropbox or as Google Drive. All of those uh, cloud drives, or most of them as far as I know, uh, give you the ability to paste the embed code of your video content. So now let's go down to see if we can find some show me video. Show me is another um, show me is another iPad app. So here I am at the show me page. Again, you can create show me's. You have to have the app on your iPad to create a show me, but rather than going to my account and selecting uh, math or a statistics video on show me what I'd like to do is just randomly pick any any show me 
uh, from the community. So let's say I'd like to learn some Spanish and I want my students to learn Spanish as well. So I'm going to select a particular video. Um, well, let's see. Let's pick this one here. Imperfect versus perfect. Well, I'm not going to play this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how, to, how I would like to find the embed code for it. So I would suspect that it's probably under share. So let's select the share and different ways of sharing. We can share by email. I can send an email to a friend or I can Twitter it or Facebook it. Let's choose embed code. And again, when I choose the embed code with show me, you can see that we've got an option to select either a link so I can put a web link into my document or alternately I can put the embed code in. So I'm, I think what I'll do is I'll do both. So I'm going to put the embed code in first. So I'll copy that to my clipboard, go back to Blackboard, and I'm going to edit this page. I'll go back to editing this page. And of course, once I am um, entering the embed code, I have to realize that I am not going to be entering it from the uh, first edit page. What I need to do is move into the HTML code. So in order to, I'd like to insert it right after the show me video here. So I'm going to move into the HTML code view and, and there is the show me video. So I'll throw in a little bit of an extra carriage return and control V to paste, or I could use right click and paste. And again, I'm going to update. So Always remember to select the update and there's the show me video um, frame. And if I wanted to paste a link, okay, I'd like to paste a link here. And the video can, the link can actually be pasted right within that page. But first I have to go back to the website and I'm going to select the link to the show me copy that and move back to Blackboard and paste the link right here. Oops, can't do it that way. I have to use Control V. And of course, this link is not going to be hot unless you make it hot. So we highlight it and select the uh, edit link option. So we can edit the link and here's our link path. Paste that. And I prefer that the links open on a separate page. I find it rather jarring for them to open on the same page. So I'll open in a new window and insert. So there's your hot link. Now I have not saved any of this yet. I know I haven't saved it. So I'm going to downsize, go to uh, small screen. I'll exit from the full screen and then I'll move up here to submit. And when I look at this page, I scroll down to look at the page, you'll see that I've got two options here. I can either use the link to get to the show me video, or I can play the um, uh, player or play the embedded video. So which one do you think is best? Would you rather go to a link, which opens up on a new page and takes them to the website incidentally, or alternately, play it from directly inside the uh, e the Blackboard page. Uh, personally, I prefer embedding the link from within the Blackboard page because then students can see exactly where they're at. In addition to saying what someone used to do. What links do is they uh, will take you away from Blackboard, uh, which is not a preferred option in my opinion. And so that concludes my video on how to use embed code within your pages on Blackboard. I hope you found this video useful.